Uh, Richard back at you, of course, how y'all doing? Uh, I want to kind of show you guys how to take the wave out of a 4L60 that we do a lot around here because of uh, the manual shifting and stuff that a lot of our customers do. Uh, and that wave being back there uh, actually is an issue because of uh, uh, the clutch has to come off when it shifts to second gear. So uh, the band that when we, we put a big band in it and stuff and we modify uh, the circuit to shift into second gear. We're going to bring that band on a lot quicker uh, than uh, before and we need to allow time for the clutch, the low reverse clutch to get off. Now, as long as the wave is in there, uh, this wave, as long as this wave is relaxing, the clutch is still on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that wave and throw it away and get rid of it and what we're going to do I'm doing this one hand, so it's a little bit different for me, but what we're going to do, we're going to take two standard steels, and we're going to cut that finger off, and we're going to cut that finger off. And why we do that is because uh, right down here, this part of the case sticks up a little bit above the piston. And you got another one over here that does the same thing. So what I did is I grind it off. That way this sets down in there, and now this sets below that. And this physically sets on the piston now. See? And what I do is, I actually, I take two of them. And I grind the, the fingers off of them. And I set them down in, there, down in here just like that. You can see. You can see. So, now what we'll do is we'll take a standard steel. The original one. And we're going to set it down in there first. And now we're going to finish it on out with new clutches. Steels. And now we're going to come up with our last clutch. Now we got five clutches in there with our two new steels, the wave missing, and you can see our clutch is just barely about below that ledge right there. Okay, now you're gonna come over here, grab your support, and you're gonna grab, take, and you're gonna stick it down in there. Hey, Mary, I'm doing it by one hand, so. You're gonna set that down in there, just for right now, that's all we care about. And then you're gonna take your two fingers, and you're gonna pick up on the clutch. You hear that? Normally I'd put both fingers in there, two on this side and this side, both hands, and I can pick up evenly. And I can tell my clearance, what my clearance is right there. My clearance is fine. So, what we do is, uh, we'll pull it back apart. Pull it all back out. These clutches have already been soaked. Uh, we'll go ahead and soak them back up again really good. We'll go ahead and put our planetary assembly back in there. And uh, stack it all the way up, get our forward planet and set, put our snap ring in, and then you're done. Pretty simple. But I'm telling you, if all you guys building these 4060Es uh, that do a lot of manual shifting, you want to get that wave out of the back of there, uh, it makes it so much easier on the band and stuff that that thing comes off instantly instead of uh, coming off slow as with the, the wave relaxing. So there's just one little trick right there. I'm telling you, it makes a, a lot better second gear shift. So if y'all need anything, give us a holler. Y'all have a great day.